Okay, anyone want to take a guess of what country we have this week? Mm, I'll say Italy. Italy? Australia. Cal? Challenge, no guess. China? It is Poland! Mm. And we have 10 snacks from Poland. And we're going to go through them one by one. So, Tri Treats is a company that sends subscription boxes just like this one. This is their premium box. And you get 10 treats in this box from a random country. They send you information about the country. They send you information about the actual treats that you're eating. And you get to experience snacks that you may not otherwise have. So all of these probably are not found in the U.S. at regular stores and are exposing us to new tastes, new treats. And it's a lot of fun to learn about other countries through snacks. The company did send me this box to try. We had a lot of fun doing this earlier this year and we were 100% on board to do it again. There's a discount code below where you can try it yourself. So let's get started. Cal, one through 10, which one do you want? Well, yeah, pick a number one through 10. Okay. We pick six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are gonna try Delfina. Mm. Delfina looks like a brooch that you would wear. It's a elegant, individually wrapped chocolate decorated with white chocolates, creamy and silky with a rich chocolate taste. Delfina is delicious and will melt in your mouth. Ooh. Mm. Is that one? Good? Mila, are you trying this one? We're going to share her head. <laughs> Do you want to be the first cow? Yeah. Okay. Okay, cow goes first because he picked it. Good. Kind of taste. Is there some rum? That's what I was just gonna say. It tastes like it might have rum in it to me. I know this flavor from our last box. Okay. Do you like it? No. Yeah. I like the chocolate. Mila, do you want to pick a number one through ten? But six has already been taken. Eight. Okay. Ah, this is the one I thought actually Mila would like. So this is um, Citruski, or yeah, I think Citruski. It looks, it is um, uniquely colored and intricately designed citrus caramel candies. These candies come in a variety of designs with a unique hallmark of Polish candy, candy tradition. So Mila, I'll let you pick what um, for, ooh, variety you want. She picked the cherries. Wait. Cal, what do you want to pick? I don't know. I'm guessing maybe lemon. Lemon or orange is what I would guess. I would think that one's orange, this one's lemon. I'm going to take a raspberry. Dad? Please, lemon or orange. Well, it's see. interesting that they call it um, a citrus caramel. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, this reminds me of, I always think of it as like great grandparent candy, the mm. strawberries that were used to be around when I was a kid at Christmas time. I thought Christmas flowers. Oh, that was good. It reminds me of the um, chocolate with the Tootsie Rolls in the middle. Oh, Tootsie Pops? Mm. I can see that in Tootsie Pop taste chip. Yeah. This is orange. So we have a lot of these. Okay, Dad, one through Maddie, aka Daddy, one through ten. Two. He picked number two. It's aha. I gotta find it though. Aha was um, printed by error, so they just changed it for the am key. A sesame snack with honey. I'm gonna get a fork or a knife and uh cutting board. Okay. Is anyone not going to have any of this? What is it? It's sesame. So this is a sesame snack with honey. It's a healthy alternative loaded with extra thin, super crunchy, and carefully selected honey roasted sesame seeds. Um, oh, so there's three of them. There. It's very thin. And it's just a whole bunch of sesame seeds held together by honey, I think. 
I'll try it. You'll try it? Tell you some. So we're all gonna try I'm just gonna break one of the oh, wafers and quarters and if we like it, yep. Yeah. I'm excited about this. I love sesame seeds. Yeah, take this out. And then I'll try no, I think that is really good. Hmm. It reminds me of peanut brittle. It's really yummy to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll eat it. Yeah, you can taste the sesame, obviously. Isn't it like a sesame peanut brittle? Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think it's bad. Probably whoever doesn't want it. Alright. Yep. I like that a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna pick this one because it's on top and in the way. This is number 10. Strawberry flavored corn puffs that do not have any gluten or any added sugar. They're lightly sweet in flavor, soft in texture. These corn puffs are a healthy delight. And they're giant. <laughs> who, who wants a cigar, guys? Neely, you want a cigar? Should we break these? I was thinking so. Well, maybe. Oh, I don't need to pull half. Of it. Well, maybe you'll want it. Dad and I'll take a half. What do you want? This smells like nothing. Yeah, it doesn't have any smell. It really doesn't. Hey, it doesn't. Does it taste like strawberry? Yeah. It says that on there. It tastes like a big corn puff. Can I see that? It does taste like a corn puff. It reminds me of like if, if a Cheeto was washed off. <laughs> or a cheese puff. Oh. It's not bad. It's not good either. It's the best I had so far. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, Cal. Well, tastes like one second of the best. Okay, Cal, do you pick one, three, four, five? Seven or nine. Also, as Kel's thinking, there is um, on the back side of the treats description, you can rate these so you can figure out which is your best, your worst, or the weirdest. I think that's kind of fun that they have a rating card in here. We are all going to vote at the end. So what number, Kel? Um, Just pick a number. Three. Three. Kel pick three. That's cream wafers. Um, so these Ooh. are crispy, thick wafers with delicious vanilla flavored cream. They're produced by Famalijn, one of the leading Polish brands for wafer biscuits. I like that one. Yeah. This, to me, looks like my favorite one so far. If you guys are curious, our middle daughter is missing. Um, well, she, <laughs> our middle daughter is not here, but I think she'll like these um, when she gets home. They, like they look pretty. They're very, very crystally looking like sugar. Mm. I've never liked these before. I like mm. these. Very mm. good. They're really good. Really nice vanilla flavor. Mm -hmm. Good. Very good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Does anyone want this? Good, good, good. We will good. not let it go to waste. Okay. Mila? Good, good, good. One, four, five, seven, nine. Seven. Mila picked hazelnut break. Mm. Okay. Um, it's a smooth, rich chocolate and cream or er, rich chocolate That's with one. creamy flavor. For a burst of flavor, you can chew on it or you can have the chocolate and cream melt in your mouth. Perfect treat to have on the go. Yum. Mm. Okay. Let's see here. So this kind of is like a little Kinder, melty. Kinder Wonder Bars. Yeah. Oh. I am least interested in this probably out of all of them. Mm. That looks delicious. It looks yeah. very chocolatey. Er, it looks very So I'll just take a small piece of this one. I think oh, this is a small piece. Mmm. The wafer, it's very light and it actually has a much creamier taste than I imagined. 
While they're enjoying that, I'm going to have some more sesame. If you like Nutella, you'd have to like that, is my opinion. I like Nutella. That's why I like that. What about the gold... The gold ball, hazelnut balls? The gold wrapped hazelnut balls? Pereira Rocher? They remind him of gold wrapped hazelnut balls. <laughs> Uh, nine? Nine. We have not done. Okay, nine, he picked. These are called Croca Milk Cream Fudge. Um, Croca is cow candy in Polish, and it's milky cream fudge candy. You'll notice these Polish fudge candies are different from American fudge. They're soft and crumbly and will melt in your mouth. Mm. So we'll open one of these to show you. Um, I might have to start calling fudge cow candy. Ooh, this does not look like fudge. What I would think of as they said, American fudge. It looks like a caramel. Yep. So does anyone want half of this or all of one? Oh. Does it cut like fudge? Yes. Huh. It, it much more reminds me of fudge. Oh, gosh. Here. Mmm, I love the texture of it. Mm. It reminds me of like a no bake cookie texture, but it's really yummy. I'll eat meatless too. <laughs> I actually really like it. It tastes that. like caramel, but it feels like fudge. Mm hmm. Like a chewier fudge, though, slightly. It reminds me of yeah. like the side of a pan when you make fudge and it kind of crystallizes on the side. Paluski. Mm. They're crispy salt sticks. Mm. Um, it is known to be made from a traditional recipe and a traditional baking process in producing these results in these snacks contain a relatively low calorie count. Okay. Yeah, they look like our pretzels. They look really good. I think these are going to remind me of the ones from our last Croatia box. Like a, a very, they're not dense. Not a dense pretzel. I don't know. Well, I'm a fan of the salt sticks. Mm-hmm. this one, another couple. This one. We have two left. I'm going to save the biggest one for last because I think my husband's looking forward to it quite a bit. This one is called Prince Pollo or Prince Polo. <laughs> yeah. Spanish. Yeah. Hazelnut milk chocolate wafer by Prince Polo. Um, it has four layers enrobed in a coat of hazelnut milk chocolate. Since the introduction of Prince Polo wafers in 1955, they have been Poland's best selling candy. Mm. Well, the interesting thing is it's made by Mondelez who also makes uh, Belvita wafers that my son likes to eat for breakfast. These look like a giant nutty buddy from Little Debbie. Mm. Mm. Is there peanut butter in there? Mm, hazelnut. You want some meal or no? I'm going to pass. Wine flay. It's, it's hazelnut. Oh, wafers I like. Hmm. Mm. I like the layers. Mm. You like that one? And here I thought I was saving the best for last for him, but I think that he likes really it. really good. Mm. It's not, it's not bad. Okay, the final one. These are called Tarunskis. I can't pronounce any of this stuff, obviously, but this is gingerbread cookies made from a traditional and secret recipe by Kopernik Serka, a company that has been one of the leading Polish gingerbread producers since 1773, 1763. So we have gingerbread cookies and they're shaped like cute little hearts. No wonder my honey will like them. Oh, Whoa. look how beautiful these That's are. I really want to like it because of how pretty it is, but gingerbread is not my favorite flavor. Mm, so that look good, buddy? 
Okay. <gasps> Ooh, it's soft. Why oh, everything is. Okay. Matt, I want you to go first, please. Mm. Mm. The fluffiest gingerbread cookie I think I've ever had. That is actually really good. I just take a pillow. It is super soft, which I thought it was gonna be kind of dried out from the look of it, but it's I think it's like coated in the like an icing mm. that kind of probably traps in the moisture. That was pretty good, actually. That's all just a pillow. You want to sleep on a pillow of that tonight? That's good. Okay. Can I have another piece? I know what my favorite is, though. That's... Okay, let's all take, we'll take a vote here. Everyone, we'll go down the line of your least favorite. Anyone know? Uh, the gingerbread thing. Okay. Mine was the corn puffs. Yep. Kel, what was your least favorite? Um, I would say that. The sesame thing? Okay. I would, I would say the corn puffs too. Okay. My favorite was the sesame honey. That was really good to me. It was just like a sesame peanut brittle, which sounds good to me. What was your favorite, Kel? The corn puffs. <laughs> Wait a minute. My least favorite was your favorite, and your favorite was my least favorite. Opposite. My favorite had to be the hazelnut milk chocolate wafer by Prince Polo. That was a good wafer. <laughs> Hope there's more. You didn't like my heart I gave you? I liked it, but not as much as that wafer. And what was your favorite, Mila? The caramel citrus thing. Oh, oh the fruit candies? I want another one. The, she liked the, these. I can't, <laughs> and I mean, try to say them. Um, this is my most surprising. When I read these and pre-filmed some of this, I thought, ugh, gingerbread, but I thought that was actually really good. Yeah. I would look forward to having that with coffee. And it's so cute. I love cute things. So that's my most surprising one. That's why she loves Cal. Why? You love cute things. Oh. <laughs> if you thought it was fun to see all the different snacks we tried from Poland and you want to get your hands on your own box, follow the link below with a discount code that saves you money and let them know that Jackie sent you. If you wanna see the previous facts that we did, you can check out all of the snacks and goodies we had from Croatia. It was a lot of fun in our first one. This was our second. We look forward to doing it again. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao, ciao down, down and ciao. ciao. Okay, can I have another candy? Can I have another coffee? I want some Prince Poyo.